So here's my new hex rotor project. We're using the uh, Foxtech disc motors. Uh, they're pretty efficient. These happen to be the 390 kV. They're a uh, brushless motor. We're swinging a 1447 carbon fiber prop. We're going to try it with these hubs. If they don't work out, we'll take them off. Every other motor has a counter clockwise prop hub. So these are spinning the same way as they tighten. So they shouldn't come loose. Uh, we decided to run the wire on the outside of the arm. And the reason why I did that is because I like to be able to inspect all the connections. Okay, There's the connections for the brushless motor. We have one solid piece of wire all the way to the motor. Um, we're running the uh, Super X by X Aircraft Flight Controller. Here's their GPS module. Uh, it's actually the compass. Uh, we're testing out a couple batteries. These are some inexpensive 6X, 6S LiPos. They're 40C and uh, they're 5000 milliamp hour. They cost around 60 bucks a piece. We're using the Spectrum AR7000 with the satellite. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's not a lot to talk about on these things other than if you use good components, uh, you should do pretty well. It's 25 millimeter carbon fiber rods, uh, 3K thick. Uh, these these uh, clamps here, they're all aluminum. Okay. Um, there's a satellite receiver here. I have one on the top and one on the bottom. Um, everything is zip tied and secure. Now my wire harness, I didn't use a distribution block. What I did do is I built a squid. Okay, uh, You can see that we used uh, all 8 gauge wire um, into squid. It's all heat shrunk. Comes around to the file with the E5C connectors. I also uh, I mounted the the uh, USB connection right here so I can get into the flight computer or the flight controller if I ever need to. Uh, as far as my landing gear is concerned, is I cut up some uh, these foam dice from Chuck E. Cheese. They're really lightweight and they're hard. They're not really soft and uh, they just slip on the ends of the carbon fiber landing gear. You can see how that gear is set up. It's just a carbon fiber tube with a clamp coming through and this Chuck E. Cheese dice cut. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, the battery tray is on the top. Let's see here. You can see that these are the Hunger 50s. These are actually 40C batteries. They're Velcroed down. There's a Velcro strip on the bottom of the battery plate. And there's a Velcro strap on the top. And then there's the main power connection right over here. Okay. Just plug those in and you're ready to go. Okay, I do have some 8,000 milliamp hour um, China Hobby something, China Hobby uh, batteries. They're gonna work okay. They're actually kind of expensive. They cost me around $250 for two batteries. So they're all 6s 6s lipos. And uh, oh, the speed controllers. <laughs> These are probably the most expensive part of the build besides the flight computer they are if you can see right in there they are castle creations they're the phoenix ice 75s these are really designed for a, a high current motor which i was planning on running a more high current motor uh, before i found these disc motors i'm still looking at uh, other options because you can see the distance between these two propellers is about 10 inches so Actually, I shouldn't say 10, it's about 8 inches between the two propellers. So I'll be able to put in some big props and some big motors if these uh, Fox, Techs, Fox Tech motors don't work out for me. You can see that I've had to balance them. Uh, I pulled the stickers on some and everything's been balanced. The props have been balanced. Uh, I used clear paint underneath of the back edge. And... Uh, and on the hubs, the ones that needed to be balanced, I use Velcro. Let's take a look at that real quick. You can see on this one, let me pull back a little bit. 
can see that I had to use the Velcro and CA. You use the uh, soft side of the loop and you mount it and then you use CA and hardener to uh, balance this hub. This one was probably the worst of all the props. I should have tossed it, but it tracked so nice I didn't want to just throw it away for a balance issue at the hub. Anyway, so we got them all rolling and going. We're going to be made in flight this tomorrow and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching.